Good morning, folks. Well, unless you've been living under a rock uh, this morning, uh, last night there was some news about the FSU program, and it's not fucking good, no matter how you slice it. Uh, for me personally, how I uh, received the news is I got a DM from someone I know, and it was Marvin Wilson retweeting reporter Tayshawn Reed, good old Tayshawn, the guy that comes up with salacious headlines. But in this instance, I don't, it sounds like there is no salacious headline or misinformation. Thus far, it seems like what Tayshawn put out there was what uh, Mike Norvell said. And what he uh, quoted was Mike Norvell saying, you know, we reached out to all our players. I went back and forth with everyone on the team individually. And Marvin Wilson retweeted basically saying it's bullshit. Like the, the team got a, like a mass text basically saying like, in light of what's going on, if you need to reach out to us, uh, about this issue, if everyone feel free, you know, come talk to us, that type of thing. And that, that is good. That's step one in the line of communication and talking about racism and what's going on in the country right now. You know, a mass text is step one. But if Norvell really said, I went back and forth to everyone and he lied, that's not cool. That's not cool at all, obviously. That's exaggerating to make yourself look better. And I don't want to make this direct comparison to Trump because I'm not saying Norvell's Trump, so don't get me wrong. But saying he went back and forth every player reminds me of Trump using like the Bible as a, as a prop. Like, you know, just to look better at the end of the day. So, of course, FSU Twitter's all in fucking shambles. And what's really annoying about all this is one, we've yet to hear from Norvell. Apparently, they're having a team meeting, like, right now. Two, we haven't, I haven't seen anything from Tayshawn, the reporter, you know, coming out and saying anything else. Uh, um, other reporters are trying to fact-check this as well. In addition to all that, this is... Uh, all the mainstream sports media platforms are already running with this, which is expected, but at the same time, it's like, what happened to the Dabo story? Like, it's seemingly already been swept under the rug. Had a coach call player N-word. He's still on that staff. It was covered up. And it's just like, it never happened. But Norvell, who, yes, if he lied, did something wrong, had good intentions, but exaggerated about exactly what happened. And that's bigger news than Dabo. Dabo just apparently gets away with whatever he wants. But that's neither here nor there. I hope something good comes from this meeting. And I hope he sa Norvell says the right things. Because up until now, uh, PR-wise, he had said all the right things. And it felt finally, as an FSU fan base, like, all right, we got a clean slate. All right, we'll see what happens in year one. Like, whew, all right, let's, let's just move on. Let's get, let's get to, like, on-the-field stuff. And then this happens. Like, FSU fans, for the past five, six years, can't catch a fucking break, dude. And this goes back to 2014. I don't know about you, but that season should have been... A lot of fun. And maybe those three hours on Saturdays were fun, but the other six days a week sucked because the national media was just going at Winston and the team every fucking day, seemingly. And it was it was miserable, really, those other six days. Like, you couldn't go brag about the team because the first thing you'd hear was about Winston or something else negative. And so pretty much since then, it's it's been like a shit show. See, you know, just a downhill uh, shit show. And just when you think we're just going to talk about football now that Norvell's here, because so far he had said all the right things, doesn't appear to come with any, you know, bad baggage, exaggerates on how he reached out to the players. And Marvin Wilson, like the captain of the fucking team, best player on the team, isn't happy. That's not good. So regardless of how this gets resolved or what Norvell says, it's a horrible look. It's a horrible PR look. And before he's coached a game, he's already lost the locker room. I don't know about y'all, man, but I am running out of energy to stay as hyped as I am for FSU football. And I know that sounds like boo-hooing because there's many fan bases that, you know, watch their team suck for the last, you know, 10, 20 years. And boo-hoo, FSU's had a few down years and some drama. I could do without the drama, honestly. I mean, if we sucked and there was no drama, I, I would enjoy it more. But there's always seemingly some kind of drama surrounding this shit. And FSU Twitter. By the way, some of y'all need to, like, pump the brakes a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, some of the hot takes I'm seeing, it's like, goddamn. 
almost as bad as Bomani. Bomani's like, Norvell should be fired. I'm like, really, bro? Just fired. Like, he didn't, you know, say the N-word like Dabo's coach or... Like, he did something wrong if he lied. But I think that's a little extreme to say the only recourse is to fire him. Like, mm. either way, we'll see how this turns out. Not good for Norvell, obviously. Huge mistake on his part. So, curious to see how it plays out. But goddamn, man. Just, just another gut punch for the FSU fan base. All right, well, uh, maybe I'll get back on if we hear something uh, else. But for now, it's a fucking shit show. Hope it works out. But, um, you know, Norvell already had the deck stacked against him with, uh, you know, being the third coach in three years, uh, the previous three years being 18 and 20, um, not having spring practice, not really able to be able to have people to visit because of COVID and that affects recruiting. He already had the deck stacked against him. And with his exaggerating of how he reached out, I mean, it's like he grabbed the, grabbed the deck and just flipped it in the air like he's playing 52 pickup. So, man, got to do better than that. I'm out.